Hello everybody, I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick video. Today is Thursday, and I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video because I had a lot of questions on how I set up my uh, storage for my alcohol markers. And my dog keeps on barking, sorry about that. Anyways, um, I have, how I store my markers is I put my sketch on one side, because you know I've got a few, I've got some sketch, I don't have a lot. You know, some people have the whole set, I don't. And then I have, these are my Copic Chow markers. These are a lot price, or ch uh, cheaper. And I wish I would have just bought uh, the Sketch, but, you know, those are the ones that I have. So I can't be picky and I can't complain. I, they work just the same. <laughs> and then these are my, um, those are my Spectrum Noirs. Uh, my son gifted me them. He, I was able, he sent me money and he said get a massage and I was like, oh, we'll get markers. So I got me the entire set of markers using my discount from Love's Rubber Stamp when I was a guest designer uh, for the month of September for lovesrubberstamps.com and I love I love how my setup is. Um, I've only used, I think, this, this um, color right here. I don't even know what color it is. It just says BP6. Um, this pink, I did a card with using that. I haven't really got to play with my markers because my sons have been here from Texas and my son uh, that just moved to Louisville. So they've been here doing a couple things and we've just been organizing. So today I wanted to go ahead and share this video, explain how to set it up. And for this, I paid $4.95, got it from the Goodwill. Um, I'm able to store, like I said, these chow, 168 of the Spectrum Noirs, uh, actually 68, 69, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 75, 175 Spectrum Noirs, because these are the old school ones. You can tell the new ones are round. These ones are like a square. And then I've got my uh, ink, my Copic ink refills in there that I just slid in there. Uh, to do, you know, to keep them all, I like to keep all my markers in one place, you know, and I like to be able to see them so then I can see what I'm using, what colors I'm, you know, trying to use and whatnot. So this is, it's super easy. Now I got this one. This one's a 60 CD uh, lasers, laser line storage, uh, I guess, wall mount, wall unit. And both of them, the 91 that I'm using for my markers, and this is a 61, have little notches in the back where you can hang it on your wall to mount it or you can just set it on your desktop. I choose to set mine on my, my um, desktop. Now what I'm going to be using the smaller one for is actually to be storing my ink. If you can see I've got my, my ink in here and I store mine upside down and if you can just kind of see here. I've got two caps in there. You know you can put other stuff in there but let me go ahead and pull these out. You can see I just have like a little well I guess I just dropped that on the floor yeah sorry guys Ugh. gotta get that okay all right so what I do is how to set up the storage you just slide the CD case in there like this for the markers you just slide it like this slide it in there and then you put your markers I don't, you know, the trays are $7.95 each for the uh, mark, uh, trays. I love the way that they hold the trays or, you know, the trays hold the markers and that you can angle them or you can, you know, do other things with them. Um, but for me, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, this is the solution that I came up with that works for me. See, and I've got eight uh, sketch markers on there. And all you do to do the next row, you skip a space. Make sure and yep, and then you just add the next row. Easy peasy. Um, you know that's how I did mine, and it works for me. It may not work for everybody, but I got the smaller um, laser line, the 60 count one, and I put it on the third notch. Like there'll be one, two. This would be the third slot. Then I just add the cap, and then I add this. I just put that back. And then so my, my ink doesn't slide all the way back. And then I just set it there. And then I can store all my inks in there as well. So let me take this out to give you a kind of an idea of how ink storage would be. And I don't know. I, every time I go into the uh, thrift store, I always um, check out to see if they have these because I'm like, you know, really, I like to be organized. So, you know, this will hold my storage. I can see the name, even though it's upside down. It says Memento Bahama Blue, Memento London Flog. 
So that's what I'm going to be using my 61 and see um, if you can kind of see. I'm in my kitchen. I just made baked a cake. So, but I wanted to go ahead and show this so that you guys could see how simple and easy the storage solution is. I mean, it. Um, I'm not sure if you can find these online. I'm sure if you go to eBay and take a peek, you could probably find them. Um, I don't know how much they run, but um, I, uh, for this one right here, I like the 90, the 90 CD uh, holder. Um, the 60 ones, you know, they just happen to have it for $2.95 in uh, my thrift store, so I just could not pass it by. You know, I love being organized. Alrighty, well, I hope that answered your question as how to set up the, you know, uh, CD rack to store your alcohol markers or whatever markers you want to put in there. Okay, uh, have a great day. If you have any questions, uh, just go ahead and send me a private message. Uh, you know, that whole Google Plus thing is just something else. I, you know, when I switched over to Google Plus, I can't see my messages. It, they don't go, you know, and so I had to uh, temporarily disable and, sna and snip it and then go back to so I could read my messages. So I might switch back over later on the day after I um, get all my addresses and stuff off my email. Alrighty, everybody. H hope this helps somebody. Like I said, this is uh, how I set mine up. And I hope it helps somebody else. And like I said, you can also use it for your ink storage as well. So have a great day. Hope that helps you. And uh, thanks for watching.